Have you ever wondered what makes Taurus so special? Would you be surprised to learn that not all Taurians are alike and that some Taurians have certain specific tendencies? If so, watch this video and find out why. Are you in the core of your zodiac sign's power or are you on the cusp of something greater? Today we're going to take a look at Taurus. Would you happen to know a Taurus or might you be a Taurus? Either way, each and every Taurus has a unique level of zodiac intensity relative to the day that they were born. What exactly do we mean by zodiac intensity? How strong are you in the zodiac? How strongly do you adhere to your zodiac sign's personality traits? What is your key zodiac strength? Understanding and mastering Taurus requires knowing where a particular Taurus falls on a spectrum of zodiac intensity. The key question we seek to answer is, is a Taurus in the core of their sign's power, or is a Taurus possibly on the cusp of something greater? Are you on the cusp or are you in the core? Are you in the core of your zodiac sign's power, or are you on the cusp of something greater? Are you stronger in the cusp than you are in the core, or are you stronger in the core than you are on the cusp? Let's find out. Today we'll enlist the artists of hip hop soul to identify where a Taurus may fall on a spectrum of zodiac intensity. And so today's episode is Taurus, what's your zodiac intensity? The stars were here many years before us, and they'll be here many years after we're gone. We study the stars so that you can be free to uncover mysteries and unlock your destiny. Hello and welcome to Masters of the Zodiac, where we explore astrology, uncover mysteries, and ultimately seek to help you unlock your destiny. Today we're going to take a deep dive and introduce a concept of zodiac intensity. Depending on the day that someone is born, that person will have a unique zodiac intensity profile. The person may either be in the core of a sign, or they may be on the cusp of another neighboring sign. If they're on the cusp of another zodiac sign, then they may simply have an opportunity to take on the personality traits of that neighboring sign. And this may either be beneficial or detrimental to them. Today's focus is Taurus. If you were born anywhere or any time between April 20th and May 20th, then you are Taurus. Taurus is symbolically represented by the bull, and Taurus is also known to be dependably stable, but inflexibly stubborn from time to time. Taurus is a fixed earth sign that tends to be more inwardly focused than outwardly expressive. If we were to give Taurus a short nickname, we might best describe Taurus as the stable centralist among zodiac signs. So what does it mean to be stable yet stubborn? What does it mean to be dependable yet inflexible? Let's find out. Again, we know the full date range for Taurus is April 20th to May 20th. But if we want to examine those Taurians who were born in the core of Taurus, then we would need to identify people who were born at least a full week away from either of the neighboring zodiac signs. And so, to examine the core of Taurus, we'll need to look at anyone born between the dates of April 27th and May 13th. Let's take a look at the core of Taurus in Hip Hop Soul and see if this concept of zodiac intensity makes any sense at all. Let's make a game of it. I'll share some lyrics and let's see if you can identify who the specific Hip Hop Soul artist is that was born in the core of Taurus. Here's some lyrics. Oh so long, for this night he prayed that a star would guide you his way to share with him this special day well there's a ribbon in the sky for your love if you answer that this singer is stevie wonder then you're correct stevie was born on may 13th within the core of taurus and it really shouldn't surprise you though stevie has been very stable over the course of his career and had incredible longevity how about another singer's lyrics in the core of taurus this singer would say Papa don't take no mess. No, he don't take no mess. He was also known for these lyrics. Some people say we got a lot of malice. Some say it's a lot of nerve. But he said we wouldn't quit moving until we got what we deserved. Still don't know who this Cortara singer is. One more hint. This singer would say it's a man's world. It's a man's world. But it would be nothing, absolutely nothing, without a woman or a girl. All right, if your answer is James Brown, then you're correct. James Brown was born on May 3rd, and of course the Godfather of Soul is a legend among legends whose reputation and impact on soul music precedes itself. 
Will we call James Brown essentialist? Absolutely. Or will we call him stable? Well, that's another question. We know that at one point in his life, James Brown was incarcerated for nearly six years related to evading arrest in the South. What we may see with cases like these, and as would be true with all zodiac signs, is that there are incidents where persons may take on the negative traits of their sign more strongly than their positive traits. In the case of James Brown, an inflexibly stubborn nature enabled him to create new sounds and lead dynamic bands. But that same stubbornness may have also had a detrimental impact during his encounters with law enforcement, encounters that led to his arrest and subsequent jail time. And as that was the case with James Brown, it may have also been the case for another singer born in the core of Taurus. Can you identify this singer by his lyrics? This singer might say, all that bulls for the birds, you ain't nothing but a vulture, always hoping for the worst, waiting for him to mess up. You'll regret the day when he finds another lover. Yeah, that knows just what he needs, knows just what he means when he tells his lover to keep it drama free. If you recognize the singer as Chris Brown, then you're absolutely correct. Now, the irony is that we have a Taurus telling their lover to keep it drama free. When the truth is that all the drama is literally coming from the Taurus themselves, they don't call it BS or bull crap for nothing. It is well known that Chris Brown had relationship challenges and was subsequently arrested for abusing the singer Rihanna in the past. All of that is well noted or maybe easily searched in Google. The bottom line though is, here we have two core members of Taurus, James Brown and Chris Brown, both known to be very dynamic performers with significant life events that one could argue shorten their careers unnecessarily. In both of their cases, we see that their stubbornness and obstinate ways overruled their need for stability. And in both cases, a price was paid for that. So for all of these performers who were born in the core of Taurus, does it add up? Does it make sense? That's the core of Taurus. But if we look to the left of the core, at any birth dates that are one week earlier than the core, we would find those Taurians who are on the cusp of Aries, and we would see that this may also be a quite powerful place to be. If you were born on that first week of Taurus, between April 20th and April 26th, then you were born within one week of being an Aries, and so you're effectively a Taurus on the cusp of Aries. Among the zodiac signs, Aries, the ram, might be best described as the brave catalyst, and so we should expect to find those Taurians who are primarily stable sensualists with a touch of a brave catalyst in them too. Aries can be energetically courageous, but impulsively abrupt from time to time. Again, Taurus is an earth sign, but when you couple it with the courageously abrupt tendencies of an Aries, you'll find lyrics like the one I'm, ones I'm about to share. Can you identify these performers who are Taurians on the cusp of Aries? Let's start with these lyrics. He just wanted to be the one that you wanted to see. He just wanted to have you near him, but you flew away almost every day. You worked a lot, but you never stopped to love. If your answer is that this Taurus on the cusp of Aries was Luther Vandross, you're correct. Was Luther Vandross, who was born on April 20th, sensual? It's definitely fair to say yes to that. He was. Was he stable? For the most part, yes he was. Where do the Aries cusp tendencies come from? The lyrics to Luther's song, Stop the Love, epitomizes energetic courage. He's telling his lover to stop everything they're doing. And Luther is abrupt with the lyric. As far as his singing style was concerned, Luther Vandross was a brave catalyst. No one would argue that his style of interpretation was very unique and, again, epitomized what a soul singer should be. Can you identify this other legendary singer who was a Taurus on the cusp of Aries? She sung these lyrics many years before Luther. Stars shining, bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees. Dream a little, dream of me. Yes, it was a very poetic song that would go on to be remade by many other singers. However, she was one of the first. She was a brave catalyst in jazz and bebop styles. She's probably best known for her improvisations and scat techniques, and her highest notes could shatter glass. If you identify this singer of A Tisket A Tasket, A Green and Yellow Basket, if you know her as the legendary first lady of song, Ella Fitzgerald, born on April 25th, then you would be correct. And so we see these two legendary interpreters of songs who brought their own unique soulfulness and sensuality into the mix, but were also brave and catalytic. We find them both here in Taurus on the cusp of Aries. Now, if we look to the right of the core of Taurus to any birth dates that are one week later than the core, we will find those Taurians who are within one week of being a Gemini. These Taurians are on the cusp of being a Gemini. And here too, we'll see that this could also be a quite powerful place to be. If you were born on that last week of Taurus between May 14th 
and May 20th, then you were born within one week of being a Gemini. And so you are effectively a Taurus on the cusp of Gemini. Geminis or the twins are known as being curious communicators or Gemini is the curious communicator. They're very witty, but carelessly superficial from time to time. So we would see some stable sensualists there who may have witty superficial tendencies. And we should expect to see some witty stability. Here are some lyrics from such a performer. See if you can identify this artist. The singer might say that she's sitting there with her tears, all alone with her fears. She's wondering if she has to do without you. But there's no reason why she fell asleep late last night, crying like a newborn child, holding herself close, pretending her arms were yours. She wanted no one but you. If your answer is that this singer, born in Taurus on the cusp of Gemini, is Janet Jackson, then you're correct. From a very young age, Jim being a sister of Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five, Janet's life has been lived out in the media. But all in all, many would regard her as maintaining stability as best she could. She has always taken on projects that challenged her and allowed her to apply her stubborn will until she got what she desired. Janet has always needed to be the one in control. Plus, witty Gemini traits have always shown themselves in her music videos and acting roles from Good Times to Tyler Perry movies. Janet would also join another fellow Taurian on the cusp of Gemini to create a smash hit. See if you can recognize this hip hop all-star from these lyrics. Do you really want to party with him? Let him see just what you've got for him. Put your hands up where his eyes can see. Straight butt wallin' in the place to be. Yes, if you guess that this is Busta Rhymes born on May 20th, you're correct. Busta and his fellow Tori and Janet performed What's It Gonna Be together back in the late 90s. One last example of the witty stability of Taurus on the cusp of Gemini was shown by this singer and former member of the group Tony Tony Tony. He sing, kissing you is not enough for him. You know he's a big boy and big boys have desires. Making love is what he wants to do, but he needs a true friend to make it come together. If you recognize these lyrics as belonging to the singer producer Rafael Sadiq born on May 14th, then you're correct and you have great taste too. All right, so we've covered the zodiac intensity of Taurus. If you were born between April 27th and May 13th, then you're in the core of Taurus. If you were born a week earlier than the core between April 20th and April 26th, then you're a Taurus on the cusp of Aries. If you were born a week later than the core between May 14th and May 20th, then you're a Taurus on the cusp of Gemini. Would you like to learn more about where a Taurus or any other zodiac sign falls on the spectrum of zodiac intensity? If so, please visit our website at mzods.com where you'll get a free report breaking down your zodiac intensity level based on your date of birth. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please share, comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. We want to invite you to continue your odyssey understanding and mastering the zodiac. If you haven't done so already, take a deeper dive into understanding your own zodiac intensity by checking out any of the 12 videos that we have here available based on your zodiac sign. So don't miss out. And as always, we want to encourage you to visit our website at mzods.com for free reports that are specifically tailored to you and designed to meet your needs. Just sign up at mzods.com to receive your free report today. And by signing up, you'll also be eligible for special contests, prizes, and giveaways that may occur from time to time. So don't miss out. Stop waiting, start doing. At Masters of the Zodiac, we track the best of the best astrologers and astrology apps that are available. If you've had a great experience with an astrologer or astrology app, let us know. If you've had a bad or horrible experience with an astrology app or astrologer, let us know. Drop comments here on YouTube or drop them at mzods.com where you'll find a treasure trove of insights and reviews about the best astrologers and astrology apps that are available. And also don't forget to show your zodiac pride. You'll find some of the best gear to let the world know exactly who you are based on your zodiac sign. So yes, visit our online store at mzods.com for the best zodiac swag on the internet and check back periodically for the latest updates. So until next time, please stay safe and have an excellent journey on this adventure that we call life. Until next time, I'm Brian Labar and this is Masters of the Zodiac. Follow Brian on Instagram and Twitter at B-R-Y-L-A-V-A-R.